Uh, international investigators haven't even arrived at the crash site yet, but the Ukrainian authorities and certainly some Western media outlets have been very quick to blame anti-Kiev fighters. Our correspondent Marina Portnaya now taking us through some of the rather wild speculation out there. A shocking tragedy claiming the lives of nearly 300 victims. Before an investigation even begins, the lack of credible facts hasn't prevented many in the West from jumping to conclusions. According to the Sun newspaper, the Russian president is personally responsible for downing the Malaysia Airlines plane in Ukraine, an accusation some U.S. officials are doing their best to fuel. If it is a result of either separate or Russian actions mistakenly believing that this was a Ukrainian warplane, I think there's going to be hell to pay and there should be. There does seem to be some growing um, awareness that it probably had to be Russian insurgents. Now, how we determine that will require some forensics, but then if there is evidence pointing in that direction, the equipment had to have come from Russia. Either the missile came from, it's a missile that came from Russia, or it was from the separatists, and it's a Buke-style missile. I mean, this came from Russia. Russia has their fingerprints all over it either way. Why stop at fingers? According to the Daily Mail, Russia's hands are soaked in blood. Some journalists conveniently camouflage their blame with a question mark, headline after headline, asking if Russia is to blame. Very few bothering to inquire about Ukraine's possible role in the plane crash. The New York Times, on the other hand, reported Ukraine's accusations, leaving no room in this article for Russia's position. The U.S., NATO and Russia have all called for an investigation to be launched to establish the facts. Many media outlets have already created their narrative, even if it means bypassing the truth. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.